That unwelcome storm, the brutal cold snap across much of the Midwest and sweeping south tonight. 200 million Americans will feel this and just take a look at the wall. This is the view through this driver's windshield in Michigan tonight. Whiteout conditions across several states. And there was a harrowing moment in Minnesota. You're about to see an officer who pulled over to help a driver when a tractor trailer comes barreling in. Just incredible there on your screen. Luckily, no one was seriously injured, but a real reminder of the dangers of winter driving. The deep freeze will send temperatures plummeting as much as 30 degrees below normal all the way down to the Gulf. Ginger Z is standing by, but we begin with ABC's Alex Perez in the middle of the storm. The Midwest taking a beating tonight. Marquette, Michigan buried under more than two feet of snow and still falling. Drivers venturing out to find covered and slick roads. Those powerful snowstorms heading east today. In Wisconsin, some places seeing more than a foot. Here in Minnesota, more than 580 crashes and 786 spinouts reported. Car after car, no match for this slippery hill in Duluth. An exhausting 24 hours for Minnesota snowplow truck drivers. Tonight, we rode with driver Tim Nigren, who says this snowstorm was one of the worst he's seen so early in the season. What you had plowed once that looked good, now it's all covered again. With plunging temperatures now in the forecast, the big concern for drivers, slick spots and potential for black ice. Everybody forgets how to drive in it and it's like getting back to snow driving 101, you know. Most of Minnesota digging out today. In St. Cloud, they saw a record breaking 13.2 inches. This front loader tipping from the weight of all that snow. And watch this close call for officers in Rogers, Minnesota. They're responding to a jackknife semi when another semi barrels right into them. The road, a sheet of ice. Thankfully, no serious injuries. But at least two deaths reported on Minnesota roads. And here in Minnesota, they have been stocking up on salt since spring. More than 276,000 tons already in place for what's to come. David. All right, here we go. Alex Perez leading us off. Thank you. And this monster storm not just unleashing snow tonight, two incredible images to show you. A dust storm, also known as a haboob in Colorado, that massive storm triggered by high winds that rushed in behind the Arctic front. That's from the air and more trouble on the ground in Colorado. A wall of tumbleweed kicked up by those winds as well tonight. So let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z, who is tracking this tonight. Ginger. Yeah, tremendous tumble in temperatures is the first thing I have to show you. Not just alliteration, but just really smacking everybody in the face there in the plains. Wichita had a record high on Monday of 77, but watch what happens in the next 36 hours. More than 60 degree temperature drop. Oklahoma City tomorrow. 22 degrees as we wake up. The freeze warnings, the hard freeze warnings are in place from New Mexico all the way to parts of Louisiana and southwestern Arkansas. And that freezing line where we take the actual temperature to 32 makes it close to Dallas early tomorrow morning. Just goes right past it and into the 20s in North Texas. Look how far that purple extends into New England. Pretty, right. pretty cool. All the way down to the Lone Star State. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Ginger.